This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Aspiring businessman shot and killed in St. Catherine. Investigators attached to the St. Catherine North Police Division are trying to ascertain the motive behind the gruesome murder of a man in Johnson Penn St. Catherine on Wednesday afternoon. He has been identified as Nicardo Campbell, a 41-year-old laborer. Reports by the police indicate that about 2.40 p.m. on Wednesday, Campbell went into the community to complete work on a grocery shop that he was to open. It is alleged that he was pounced upon by unknown assailants who shot him repeatedly. His attackers escaped. The police were summoned, and Campbell's body clad in white merino and black jeans pants was seen in a pool of blood on the busy thoroughfare. As persons converged, they wondered aloud why he was attacked. It's this morning Imlefan said he was coming out to complete the shop, and I gave him $3,000 to get paint, and I don't know what happened. Is this sadness me come to? A weeping woman said. She pointed out that Campbell was raised in the area, but went to the United States of America for seven years. He had returned to Johnson Penn six years ago. I don't know what happened. He was a hard-working person, so I don't know what happened, the woman wailed. Campbell's murder brings to 47 the number of homicides in the St. Catherine North Police Division. Media urged not to photograph Favel Williams and George Wright together at ceremony. Media personnel covering the handover ceremony of tablets to students in Westmoreland were earlier urged not to capture images of Education Minister Favel Williams that will include Westmoreland Central Member of Parliament George Wright. The news team had started taking photographs at the event when the reporter was approached by a senior communications spokesperson who asked if the section with the embattled MP could be cut off. This is the first function for Wright, who recently resigned from the governing Jamaica Labour Party to become an independent candidate. He was not listed on the program to speak. However, Williams recognized Wright as an independent MP before naming Donnett Foster, the JLP acting chairman for the Central Westmoreland constituency. Let me acknowledge independent Member of Parliament Mr. Wright for Westmoreland Central, Councillor Donnett Foster from the Cornwall Mountain Division, Williams said, while speaking at the function that was at the Ferris Primary School in the parish. Portland man accused of raping 16-year-old daughter. A 39-year-old woodworker of a Portland address is now in trouble with the law after he was accused of raping his 16-year-old daughter. Reports reaching the news are that, last Friday, the 16-year-old went to spend the weekend with her father, as she would do on a normal basis. While on the bed that they both share, she reportedly saw her father taking a condom from his dresser drawer before he raped her. Police investigators are yet to confirm reports reaching the news that the father, whose name is being withheld, has been arrested and could be charged shortly. St. Thomas Police Probing Murder The St. Thomas Police are investigating the shooting death of a man and the wounding with intent of another in the parish. Dead is 24-year-old Ryan McKensley of Nine Miles in Bulby, St. Thomas. The police say that about 9.45 p.m. on Wednesday, McKensley was sitting amongst a group of three when they were attacked by armed men traveling on foot. The assailants reportedly opened gunfire at them. The police say the now deceased, who ran in the opposite direction of the men he was with, was chased and shot several times. A man who, upon hearing the explosions, went outside his house to investigate, was also fired at when the gunmen saw him. He was reportedly shot in the left thigh. Both men were rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital, where McKentley was pronounced dead. The other was admitted in stable condition. McKentley's death brings to 13, the number of murders committed in the parish since the start of the year. Four arrested and charged for abstracting electricity. A special joint operation conducted by the St. Thomas Police and a team from the Jamaica Public Service Company has culminated in the arrest of four persons who have been charged for abstracting electricity. 
The five-hour operation was conducted yesterday in the parish between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. Those who have been charged are Gary Morgan, a 50-year-old barber, 41-year-old Leon Scott, who is self-employed, 36-year-old Sharika Lambert, a caregiver, all of a Springfield Road address in Morant Bay. Also arrested and charged is 36-year-old Shereen Johnson of a St. Mary address. They are booked to appear before the St. Thomas Parish Court in Morant Bay on July 7, 2021. Alleged criminal shot dead by police in Trenchtown. A man said to be involved in the upsurge of violence in Trenchtown, St. Andrew, was fatally shot by police on Tuesday. He has been identified as Willis Picton of a Jonestown address. About 5 p.m., the police were conducting an operation on Fort Street in search of wanted men when Picton was shot during an alleged confrontation. A Taros pistol with several rounds of ammunition was reportedly taken from him. Senior Superintendent Michael Phipps, head of the Kingston West Police Division, told the news that five prime suspects have been arrested in connection with the violence. Several people, including children, have been killed in Trenchtown over the last two weeks. On Tuesday morning, 35-year-old shopkeeper Lafayne Shariki was shot dead at her establishment on 3rd Street. Police Commissioner announces plan to redesign JCF uniforms. Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson has announced plans to redesign uniforms worn by members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. General Anderson said the new uniforms will be able to accommodate equipment such as body-worn cameras. Largely, the designs are functional designs in terms of the movement of police officers, in terms of what they wear, how they are protected, how they carry modern equipment on them, as opposed to the current uniform, he explained. He made the announcement while speaking Wednesday at a meeting at the Rotary Club of Kingston. Four persons of interest arrested in St. Thomas. Four persons of interest are now in custody after being nabbed by the St. Thomas police following an operation conducted in a section of the parish yesterday. The men were arrested on reasonable suspicion of wounding with intent. Three of them are reportedly farmers from Bellcastle in Portland. They are 30-year-old David Ramsey, otherwise called Todd, 21-year-old Akeem Woodcock, also called Gregory, and 29-year-old Alden Richards, also known as Junior. A farmer of Lower York in St. Thomas was also arrested on reasonable suspicion of wounding with intent and murder. He is 45-year-old Milton Bent, otherwise called a soldier. According to reports, the men who were traveling in two motor cars, one of which was seen without registration plates, were signaled to stop. A search was conducted. Further investigation reportedly revealed that the four men were suspected to be wanted by the Seaford police in regards to a case of wounding with intent committed in Seaford, and that one among them was further wanted for the offense of murder. The men were arrested and taken into custody. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.